Hi guys, here we are back again with the second iron, right? And here is your head up, okay? The feedback with comments about the questions of your iron. So let's start. We're going to review all the topics and we're going to get feedback about all the questions from number one to eight. The first question here is about verb agreement. Jenna and her friend are discussing different topics during their way back home. Read their comments below and choose right for the sentences that are right or wrong for the ones that are wrong according to the subject verb agreement. So, pay attention to the sentences and let's check the correct answers. Your advice about my problems at work will really help. Is the verb agreeing correctly with the subject? The subject is your advice and the verb were in the Pluto. Second one, everyone who was at the meeting got a little present. The subject here is everyone and the verb who was, was in the singular for the third person. Are they agreeing correctly? The next one, most of us has. Most of us has many pet peeves, don't you think? Are they agreeing correctly? Next, my company are moving to a new office near the beach next month. My company is the subject, are moving. Is the verb agreement here? Are they correct? And the last one, people speed down our street at all the time, but the police never do anything about it. Are they correct? So let's check the answers. The first one is wrong. Your advice were do not agree, right? Because your advice is singular, uncountable now. Subject agrees with the verb in the singular, not in the plural. The second one, it is right because everyone agrees with the verb was, that is in the third person singular. The third sentence, most of us has is wrong. The correct form is most of us have, right? Next one, my company are moving is not correct because my company is a singular subject, right? And then we agree by saying my company is moving, right? And the last one, people speed down our street all the time, but the police never do. Police seems to be a singular word, but the idea is Pluto. So the verb agreement is a verb in the Pluto. It is right, police never do, not does. Alright? In this question, you have to choose the best word that matches the idea about even problem, right? So here we have the sentences and you are going to identify each of them. Life in big cities may be exciting and provide many facilities for people. However, there are a lot of human problems to be considered as well. Read about the situations and match them to the corresponding human problem. One of the situations listed has no correspondence. Put a dash on it. The first one. When there are not enough places to leave your car. When there are people living on the streets. When you Humorous or political words or drawings are illegally written or drawn on walls or other surfaces. When the roads are blocked by too many cars. When people damage things deliberately, especially public property. And when a mixture of things like smoke and chemicals pollute the air in the city. So let's check the answer. Not enough places to leave your car, like a park. When there are people living on the streets, they are homeless. Roads blocked by too many cars, traffic congestion. People damage things deliberately, especially public property. This is vandalism. The mixture of things like smoke and chemicals polluting the air of the city. It is the smog. 
And the dash goes to the sentence. When rude, humorous, or political words or drawings are illegally written or drawn on walls or other surface related to behavior, right? So let's check the vocabulary here. What word describes someone who is kind and considerate? What word describes someone who is unkind or intended to be hurtful? Mark the only correct option according to the use of the verb form in the conditional sentences. Let's check the answers. The first one, a person who is kind and considerate, it is someone who is thoughtful. The second one, someone who is unkind and intended to be hurtful is a mean person, right? And the options here, the ones that are correct according to the correct verb form in conditional sentences are People feel important if you listen to them. This is the zero conditional. People feel simple present. In the conditional part of the sentence, we have if you listen, if plus the verb in the present. So both sentences are in the simple present tense. This is the zero conditional. The other options would be people would feel important if you listening to them. This is not correct because we don't use present continuous with would, right? And if we have present continuous, you say you are listening, right? But we don't use this form. This one is not correct because we use will in the main sentence. And in the conditional part of the sentence, we use, use simple past tense. People will feel if you listen to them. So it's not correct. When we use will in the main sentence, the next sentence using if plus simple present, right? But when we use if plus the verb in the past, we use would in the main sentence, right? And the last one, it is not correct because both the sentences we are using the simple past tense. People felt important if you listen to them. Listen, simple past, regular verb. Felt, past tense of feel. So we never use in both sentences the simple past tense. So the correction of conditional sentences is will in the main sentence, if plus the present. Would in the main sentence, if it was the past. Or both sentences, we can use the simple present tense. That is the zero conditional. First conditional, if it was the present, will. Second conditional, if it was the past, would. That's the difference, right? So the best answer here is, people feel important if you listen to them. Both sentences, using the present. That's the correct one, right? The last one we have. If you change your attitude, things will get better. If it was the verb in the present, and the main sentence we use, will. The second sentence is not correct because we are using if it was the verb in the present and would. That is incorrect. We have to use will. All right? Or use the verb in the past. If it was past tense, then we can use would. The next sentence, it is not correct. Why not? Because we're talking about if it was the verb in the past and we used will. Remember, we have to use would every time that we use if it was the past. And the last one, if you will change, things get better. This is not correct because we are using if plus will change. I never use will together in the if part of the sentence, right? Remember, we have if plus the present, then we have will. This is the first conditional. And when we use it, if plus the past and we use would, the second conditional. And when we use both the sentences in the present, zero conditional. That's the difference, right? So the correct option here is if plus the present, then I use will. All right? In this question, we have a text about procrastination, right? 
and the students are supposed to read it. And after interpreting the article, they need to check if it is true or false according to the text, right? Let's check the answers. So here we have the text, right? And then we have the sentences about the text. According to the text, you can say that the writer points out that procrastination is a problem that can affect anyone. Unfortunately, trying to complete your job little by little cannot help if you have a big task to do. One of the reasons that keep us from working on something is lack of motivation or reward. The writer clearly states how important it is to keep working in the same place to avoid distractions of any kind. So let's check the answers. The writer points out that procrastination is a problem that can affect anyone. This is true. The second one is false. Because trying to complete your job little by little cannot help if you have a big task to do. This is false. It can help you, right? The third one, it is true in this sentence. When we talk about that lack of motivation or Lack of reward is a reason that keep uh, some working or something. This is true, right? And the last one, the writer clearly states how important it is to keep working in the same place to avoid distractions of any kind. This is false, right? And here, students are supposed to write down Two examples of phrasal verbs used in the text about procrastination. So, let's check. So, here we have some examples. The verb sit down, turn off. Other possible answers are break up. Example, break your test up into smaller pieces. We have turn off your phone when you sit down to work. So here are some of the possible answers. Then we have some subject questions where you're supposed to write about the topic. Okay? This one is think about the city where you live. What are its main urban problems? Here the students have to write a text describing solutions for two main problems in the city. Using the modal verbs, example, should, ought to, and other expressions, for example, be allowed to, be supposed to, to indicate how to solve these problems and make life better in the city, right? One possible answer is, one of the major problems that people who live in Manaus have to face nowadays is traffic congestion. People have a say that if you can drive in Manaus, you can drive anywhere. That is an unpleasant truth. Therefore, if you ever rent a car to drive in Manaus, you should stay focused on the road and try as hard as you can not to yell at someone, because it is going to be very stressful to drive here. Another problem Manaus has is its workers lazy. It generally seems that people in Manaus don't enjoy working hard, and they are often going to find an excuse to make you leave their stores. Thus, whenever you go shopping, you ought to be very convenient, so that salespeople enjoy helping you instead of turning their heads and ignoring you. In this question, they have to write about something they find particularly irritating, something that they can't stand, they can't tolerate. It is named fat feet. So, they have to talk about the rose pet peeves, right? They have to talk about what behavior they find irritating and use expression to show how they feel about that, right? A possible answer is, I really hate when I'm talking to someone and he or she isn't paying attention. It looks like I don't exist, so it really annoys me. Another possible answer is, one of my worst pet peeves is when people are late or make me run late because I'm waiting for them. This is especially worse when I have an important appointment or it is about something I'm really looking forward to. My sister usually behaves this way when we go out. 
She often takes too much time to get dressed. It really gets on my nerve. So, the last one is about a text you have to write, but you need to be very persuasive because your parents are looking for a new town to move. And you're going to try to convince them to choose your option. It must be in Brazil. So you're going to talk about the advantages of Brazil and this city you choose. Remember, you have to follow the ideas here below. Clearly state your view about the place. Give two reasons and support them with facts and examples. And the last one, to use persuasive language and expressions to convince them. A possible answer is, São Paulo City is without doubt the perfect place for us to live. Because it has a lot of fascinating attractions, like natural parks, shopping centers, museums, theaters, and many other cool places. Another reason to live there is the presence of great companies and very qualified universities. This will grant us a good job and a degree from one of the best universities in the world. A possible answer is, if you are looking for good quality of life, Curitiba is the best place to move to. If I were you, I would choose Curitiba for two main reasons. Great options of green spaces to relax and cultural diversity to explore. You will enjoy the time of your life and will be amazed by the number of green areas, such as parks and forests you can find there in Curitiba. St. Lorenzo Park, Bacacheri Park and Barigui Park are only some of the many ones to mention. Curitiba was also home of a great variety of immigrants, so you will find charming places like Felicidade, the Italian neighborhood, which is almost another city spot, or the Ukrainian memorial, or the Dutch Way, an enchanting tribute to the German immigrants. You're going to love this. You might think the weather is too cold for a living. However, you can get used to it as soon as you learn how to protect your body properly. So, this was your feedback about your eye. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions about your second eye, Heta, talk to your teacher, right? Thank you.